Hey everyone, today on Mickey Mackey, we're going to turn this boring old van into this amazing camper. To start out this build, I needed to put some masking tape on the floor so that I had something to mark on and didn't have to draw on the floor. Once I had the tape laid down, I marked out for essentially two boxes, a backrest and the footrest. So I decided to start with the backrest. And the first thing I needed to do was cut the front panel. And then once that was cut, I could do a quick dry fit and mark out some measurements for the curve of the rear door. Using a nail and a flexible ruler, I marked the curve for the rear door and cut it out with a jigsaw. After confirming that that fits, I used the same process to create the end cap that would then be curved to fit in the interior of the, back of the rear door. This was my first attempt at kerf bending, but all I did was set the circular saw to just a little bit thicker than the final ply sheet of plywood and made repeatable cuts. I started the cuts just before where the curve starts on the uh, rear panel and made sure every 10 to 15 centimeters to leave a wider gap between curves so that the pocket holes that I'm going to attach it to the panel with would have something to grip to. I can then line up the end cap with the panel and mark out on the panel where the wider gaps were that the pocket holes could screw into and then drill for those pocket holes and screw the entire thing together. Knowing the bed would cover the front lower part of the panel, I could drill in some pocket holes and screw the panel to the floor, knowing that the bed would then hide these. Now that I had the backrest done, I could start on the footrest. I started by cutting the front panel to length and width and height, and from the off cut from that, I then cut the end cap that was furthest away from the rear door, because it all had to be the same height, and pocket hold that pocket hole screwed that together and then I could also make an end cap for the other end which matched the interior of the rear door and also pocket hold that on. I could then install this the same way I did the backrest the only difference is I put the pocket holes inside of the box because the bed is not going to cover it so you would see them and it would just give a cleaner finish. I cut the hardwood top and put it in place. Now I knew that this piece was, piece was going to be replaced in the future and the client needed the van back because they wanted to go away for the weekend. So this just ended up getting screwed in place from the top only because I knew that I was going to be replacing it with a whole nother hardwood piece later on. Next was getting the bed installed. I started with the legs. The bed will have two legs, one on the edge near the footrest and one in the middle and the other side will screw into the backrest. So after cutting the legs to size, I drilled out the pocket holes. I then cut the top of the bed and pre-drilled for screws that would screw into the top of the legs and pocket holes that would screw into the backrest. I could then install the legs using pocket holes into the floor and then the top screwing down into the legs, ensuring everything was square. When I cut the top, I cut a duplicate for the, set, for the slats. I cut a 100 millimeter piece off the slat piece and nailed it in place against the backrest that would cover the pocket holes that are screwing the bed top into the backrest. I then marked out the slats. They are 100 millimeters wide and using a container, I marked a curve on the end of each slat. I used a circular saw to cut each line and finished off the curve with a jigsaw. Using the sliding part of the slats as a template, I then glued and screwed in the part, the slats that don't move. 
All right, it's been three days since the first day of the van build, now onto the second day, and the client took the van away for the weekend and has decided on a couple of things he wants to change, and I came up with a couple of ideas to change as well. So one of the things we're going to do is move the bed over about 10 centimeters, which will also bring this wall out, and then also bring this wall out to about this part of the bed as well. And that way you will have a lot more storage behind here. And then I'm also going to, instead of have the top open for storage, is cut down and across and back up on the other side to make this part flap out as well. So you just have a big wall of storage, which I think will look a lot better. Bring the bed out. We need to have this part, the footrest, this needs to, this top part needs to hinge as well. I needed the back panels to be able to do that. And I'm also going to cut around the fuel filler nozzle a lot better as well with a new piece of hardwood. And then give everything a clean. I need to route around all the slats, give them all a round over on all the pieces. And that should be done. We do need to still replace, uh, put in the, um, the wall on that edge, I bought some thin plywood so that hopefully it'll bend a lot better around that edge because I had a lot of issues with that, but we'll see how that goes. I also, one more quick thing is that with this wall here, we want to have the ply, we want to have it come out to here to match the bed so that it'll actually go up to where the rubber is here instead of going in behind the white. So I need to bring the wall out. So I need to cut a whole new wall piece which I have a new piece of plywood for that over there. Cut a whole new wall piece so it's a bit longer, so it will come out to the rubber. But it's not gonna be too tricky because I can use the piece that's already there as a template to get the, um, the mold on this end, and then I can work out how long it needs to be and then trace the mold on the other end so that the plywood will be as long as it needs to be. So off camera, I built a new backrest and moved over the bed. Before installing the backrest back into the van, I cut out the door in front of it. I then installed the backrest the same way. The only difference is that the hardwood is now one complete piece and this will lock the top of the backrest in place. As this isn't going to be hinged anymore, the door on the front on the backrest is going to hinge instead. I could then install the door onto the front of the headboard. This was done with two hinges into the bottom of the hardwood top. On the bottom of this door, I installed a latch on each side, and that is just to stop the door from swinging open while driving and just making it more secure. Using a force and a bit, I drilled a hole in the center of the door at the bottom as a door pull. I cut a new hardwood panel for the footrest and installed it to the wall with hinges. The corner near the rear door would interfere with the top lifting, so this was attached separately. The last thing I need to fabricate is two coffee tables. These will be installed under the bed on drawer slides. I start by cutting them to size, allowing for the thickness of the slides and install under the bed, one on each end. The slides I'm using are pushed to open at full extend so that when the tables are pushed in, they will be locked in place. Okay, we're almost done. I need to route over all the slats. I use a 10 millimeter round over bit and went over all the slats. This is cosmetic, but also to make sure there is no sharp edges that could rip the mattress. And I just gave everything a quick sand. And we can call this van build done. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the build. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll have links to those down below as well. And also check out my podcast that I run with the Grant Alexander and Molly Kurt. They're both from Canada and it is called Clamp. Just search Clamp on any podcast player and it should show up. And I'll see you next time.